As always, the board thanks you for your contribution to the experiment. Greetings all and welcome back to another game of Danger Zone with Dark Alley 123 playing here in Frostbite with random teammate Wall Street. I got such a good feedback from the last time I did a voiceover and I decided I'm going to do another one. For those of you who do not care and would just like to see the kill and start, please feel free to jump forward to the next uh, uh, chapter where things are going to get more interesting. Okay, last week Valve put a paywall between non-prime and prime. Non-prime players can only play in unranked games and don't receive drops. While I'd like to hope that this change will reduce the number of shares playing Danger Zone ranked games, I am worried that instead it will increase matchmaking delays for Danger Zone by dividing the player base into prime and non-prime. I am also not convinced that a $15 paywall represents a the real deterrent to cheaters who may be paying $10 per month for their sheets. In my opinion, Valve needs to step up their anti-cheat in a major way. First, it should be possible from the server to detect unnatural movements, which would include spin bots and people looking at the floor and, and then getting a headshot, aimbot type stuff. Automatically detecting and banning these players remove a huge workload from Overwatch and remove the worst cheaters. It also do a significant result for people who are playing not to immediately they say, oh no, another one of those silly cheaters. Can't Valve do something about that? Okay. Please pay note of people uh, what I'm doing here. You may not. Uh, uh, it'll come into play a little later. Okay. At the same time, Valve needs to change from user bans to PC bans. They can Valve can work with Intel, AMD, Nvidia on methods to fingerprint a PC so cheaters who need to replace their CPU or graphics card rather than just opening a new account. So imagine you're, you're a cheater and you say, oh. You know, two strikes, you're out type stuff. You know, hey, you've been, you're detected, your user has been banned. Oh, by the way, your you know PC is also now uh, in, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, this was really strange. I don't know what happened there. Boing, boing, boing. Okay. Um, you know, your PC is now on probation. If you get you know, caught cheating again, your PC will be blacklisted. Okay. Valve also needs to invest in better anti-cheat by obtaining cheats, so actually going out and buying them, subscribing to them, whatever else, and then reverse engineering them to figure out how they're avoiding detection, come up with better ways to, uh, to, um, to detect them, and again, uh, therefore get rid of these people. Okay, doing all those 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 three those things should have a significant impact upon the number of cheaters in the game without putting in place any of the uh, huge uh, uh, issues that Valorant came up with. Okay, but I think also at the same time, as you do this, and hopefully also the player base can chill out. Okay, uh, said so not. Assume that everyone. Oh, that the uh, that turret's gonna die. Um, assume that every player that they're playing against is a cheater, which seems to be the uh, norm for a lot of people. Okay, maybe sometimes the people are playing. Uh, you know, they could be cheating, especially if they're like a spin bot. But maybe you know they're just playing better than you are. They had a lucky lucky shot. Um, the uh, having a good day, and so that they uh, uh, that's the reason you died, not because they were cheating. Okay, let's see here. Um, the other thing that was mentioned about prime versus non prime, it's gonna be interesting to watch, is how it impacts the skin market because obviously there's two things that happen getting uh, that uh, non prime accounts not. Not getting aren't going to get drops, but aren't they? Not only are they not going to get uh, normal drops, they're not going to get the non-prime case drops. So instantly, any non-prime cases, assuming they're no longer dropping, become rare drops. Therefore, the price of those cases goes up significantly. And then, for the normal drops, the question is whether the interest in those cases. Uh, maintains a high enough, uh, high level, and while the supply of those cases is dropping, which therefore will increase the price. So it'll be interesting to see you know, whether that uh, 
uh, whether the prices of uh, was it the P250 Sand Dune actually come up at all? Probably not, but some of the other ones there are, uh, you know, the Scout uh, Acid Fade, I think, is one uh, that uh, that may come up. All right, so exciting things are about to, about to start. I'm just about to get my Scout. And I hope that everyone has a fun, fun time watching the rest of this game. Yeah, I'm gonna grab that and get on the roof. So that'll drop on us. Okay. Lots of folks. Thank you.
remaining. Where are you? Oh, someone just took a shot at me. Yes! <laughs> 